So, until you came here, you knew nothing about the castell? Didn't know, wasn't interested. I better get back on guard in case anyone else shows up. Your father needs our help, Piva. My father needs rest, peace and quiet. Not more of this Gnostic nonsense. So, what did you find out? Not a lot. Eva thinks her father's losing it. She doesn't have much time for Gnosticism. She's never been here before. In fact, Marquez never even talked about the place. As far as I can tell, she and her father never got on. She left home the moment she could. Hmm. I don't blame her. So, why is she here now? Marquez begged her. Said he was in danger. I guess maybe I'll go inside and have a look around too. Tell me if you find anything. I'm not having much luck so far. Eva looked like she meant business. Hello, Eva. Senior Stobart. Please, call me George. I'd rather not. When are you and your girlfriend leaving? Actually, she's not my girlfriend. I don't know what your scam is, Senor. You may have fooled my father, but you don't fool me. Well, I can sure see where you get your manners from. Tell me about your father. When my mother died, he brought me up. As a Gnostic? <laughs> he tried to teach me that stuff. Said I had a religious vocation. Turns out I didn't. On my 18th birthday, I left home and never went back. Tell me about Ramon. Apparently he worked here when he was a boy. A loyal servant, even though the family left and never came back. More fool him. He's got an interesting line in burps. You should feel privileged. Really? It means he likes you. Tell me about yourself. I left home as soon as I could, lived a bit, and now I own a bar in Marseille. That explains why you know how to use a gun. No, senor. I learned how to use a gun so I could get rid of vermin. Eva was a real... charmer. What do you know about La Melodic Seal? My father has been obsessed by it all his life. He thinks it's full of secret messages. I think it's a crock of sh- Sure you do. Nico tells me you don't really know about Gnosticism. Don't know, don't care. And I don't need saints and gods telling me how to live my life. I can see why you and your father don't get along. So, you don't know anything about Gnostics? They're a religious sect. They belong in the past. My father's obsessed with them, and that's all I know. I have this aftershave. What do you think? I think you should keep it to yourself. Cookie? It looks disgusting. I'll pass. Eva, meet Trevor. <laughs> you don't have a problem with him? No, my bar is full of them. Have you seen Madovsky's provenance for the painting? I plan to shoot this Madovsky on sight. I don't need his paperwork. Here, these are for you. I hate flowers. I should have guessed that. Do these notes mean anything to you? Some old religious texts. So what? What do you make of this? They're sketches of my father's painting. The artist paid for the knowledge with his life. Figures. That painting brings bad luck to everyone who gets near it. This is your family, right? Looks like it. 
Do you recognize this? It's my father's medallion. He said he lost it. Yeah, he left it in Paris. Do you know anything about it? When I was a kid, he never let it out of his sight. Your father scribbled some notes on this photograph. So, we have the painting. What do you need a bad photograph for? There was no way I was going near that goat again. The fountain had stopped working long ago. The blue statue was missing its head. Only his robes and sandaled feet remained. There was a piece of stone on the side of the fountain. It looked like a discarded statue. The blue-colored statue was robed with a bald head and bare feet. It was an old, weathered sundial. From the dial I could see that the main doors of the house faced north. Hey, Eva. Senor. Do you know anything about this statue? I've seen a few of them lying around. I guess the fascists smashed them up in the war. Any more thoughts on the statues? They're just old stones. Anything else about your father you can tell us? His head is full of superstitious nonsense. Don't encourage him. Anything else about Ramon? My father won't hear a bad word against him. What else can you tell me about yourself? I know a scam artist when I see one. You're quite the conversationalist, aren't you? Don't push your luck, Senor Stobart. The minute my father is finished with you, you start walking. Anything else about the painting you can tell me? My father says it has a special connection with this house. From where I stand, this house is a place of murder and violence, which is why I want nothing to do with it. It was a circular stained glass window. It was old and undamaged. It was a shield on which heraldic symbols had been painted. The scroll below the shield read Girona. The scroll beneath the shield read Puchada. The scroll under the shield read El Pont de Suert. The scroll below the shield read Tremp. The scroll beneath the shield read Figueres. The scroll under the shield read Olot. The scroll below the shield read Berga. The scroll beneath the shield read Bascara. The scroll under the shield read Rosas. The scroll below the shield read Lorette de Mar. The carved figure resembled the young man in the painting. It also matched the pose of the figures in Simeon's picture. The carved figure was like the bearded man in the painting. It also reminded me of the figures from the illustration in Simeon's notes. The stone fireplace was old and dusty. It looked like it had lain undisturbed for decades. The carved trees bore a remarkable resemblance to the ones in Simeon's notes. The 
bookcase held an assortment of ancient books. There was nothing to help me. There was a crate of brandy amongst all the mess. An empty crate of fine brandy. It was a collection of what could only be described as stuff. It was just stuff in the corner of the room. The green stone figure was barefoot and wearing a hat. The door led out to the cloisters. Nico was examining the large wooden door. Found anything? Not yet. Just wondering what's through this door. Any luck with the painting? Mm, working on it. I think the old statues are important. Have you seen any? There's one over there, I think. Ah, thanks. What do you think of this statue? I found a few of them around this place. It looks old. I wonder if Marquez knows anything about it. I got you some beautiful tulips. That's sweet, Georges, but I'm not a big fan of yellow flowers. Oh, but Fleur said... Fleur doesn't know everything. Oh, typical. Large double doors blocked the way. Nico was investigating them. The corridor was overgrown and full of rubble. There were spent bullet casings lying amongst the rubble. What exactly happened here? It looked like this part of the castell had taken some damage. The end of the passage was blocked off with rubble. It was the lower half of a green, barefooted statue. Thanks, Nico. This might help to code the painting. Mm, I'll take a look. Maybe I can help. This door's locked anyway. It led back to the main hall. The door was locked. Senor Marquez? Anything else about the painting I should know? I keep telling you, I don't know. Do you think the Tabula Veritatis was hidden here? Perhaps. Who knows? Nico and I are risking our lives for you. You really can't tell us any more? Truly, I do not know. So, you're the good guys? Good and evil are meaningless terms. We strive simply to maintain balance and keep the tabula from those who seek to exploit it for their own ends. Eva isn't a Gnostic? As a child, she was shown the truth that is Gnosticism, but she has not chosen its path. 
Take a look at this. An old statue. It looks like someone used it for target practice. I found this. My father had a collection of those. Take a look at this. That statue has seen better days. You should get back to it. What are you thinking, Nico? The fireplace. It looks familiar. You're right. You know what? In Marquez's photo, his family was standing in front of it. Hey, Nico. We may not have a lot of time, you know. Medovsky could be here any minute. The fireplace was imposing. La Maledizio now hung above it. Marquez said that the painting contained clues only a Gnostic could solve. But when it was back in this room, all would become clear. The painting held all the answers. The Tower of Saints had led us to the Castel. I wondered where the other clues would take us. The plinths looked like they could be rotated. The blue statue was missing its head. Only his robes and sandaled feet remained. It resembled the statues in Marquez's family photo. The blue-colored statue was robed with a bald head and bare feet. Like the other one, this looked a lot like the statues in Marquez's family photograph. The green stone figure was barefoot and wearing a hat. A third one resembling the ornaments in the family photograph. It was the lower half of a green, barefooted statue. Four statues, but only two belonged to the mantelpiece. I wondered if the notes could help decrypt La Maledixio. Just go up. We don't have much time. Stairs. Always stairs. Oh my God, look at this. Jules? Jules? Hmm. What's this? A piece of burnt paper with the word Wolfram. That sounds familiar. Wolfram. I curse that name forever. What do you know about Wolfram, senor? Wolfram. I spit on the name. So you have lived here for a long time? All my life. My father served here before me. In fact, he named me after Senor Xavier's favorite saint. Saint Ramon, patron saint of the falsely accused. That's nice. Not really. The Moors put a padlock through his mouth. Oh, I see. Well, I guess there's a lesson there for all of us. What is Wolfram? It was a mining company run by a murdering swine called Ganon. 
In the civil war, they backed the fascists. In return, Genin was given soldiers to do his dirty work. They came here, brought their bloody war to this house, and killed Senor Xavier. They shot Xavier? Senor Marquez's father? I was just a boy, but I remember like it was yesterday. Shot him and his friend Hernandez, like animals. Why did they come here? They were searching for something, but they brought death with them. But there is one thing I have never understood. Javier tried to escape through the library. But the library windows are barred. It is a dead end. This Kenan, who was he? He was Swiss, a businessman, and a murdering swine. So what did he want here? I don't know. When he wasn't torturing the locals, he disappeared to the library. Spent weeks in there, making notes and studying maps. His men, they crossed the whole of Catalonia searching for something. Did they find it? Who knows? One day, Ganem just disappeared. He never came back. An accident, perhaps, in the mountains. May his soul rot in hell. The soldiers didn't stay long to search for him. They hated him, too. The name Genan was familiar. He was the person who had tried to buy La Maladexio. A coincidence? Perhaps. There is no such thing as coincidence. So, when the soldiers left, you took back the house? Yes. A few years later, I returned and cleaned the place up. It broke my heart. I locked the library. I could not bear to touch Gaiman's papers. Can I have a look at the library? No. I have kept it locked to honor the memory of Senor Xavier. Please, this is important. I lost the key. You lost it? That evening when I locked it up, I drank to the memory of Senor Xavier. The cellars were well stocked, Senora. It was a long night. I hid the key, then forgot where I hid it, so it is lost. That was all that was left in the morning. I haven't touched a drop since. I needed to find out what Ganon had been working on in that library. The window is even prettier from inside. I believed it depicted old saints. There was a row of shields displaying heraldic symbols. The scroll under the shield read, Girona. Two large figures framed the fireplace. The fireplace was adorned with carved trees. I decided to leave the painting for later. Georges had always been good at disappearing acts. Georges, are you there? The grate had locked back into place. The bookcase held old Catalan books. I wouldn't be able to read them. There was a crate of brandy amongst the mess in the great hall. Apparently Ramon drank them all. Must have been some night. An empty crate of Benedes brandy. The hall had collections of old items everywhere. Ramon claimed he had tidied the place up.
So, you have no idea what you did with the key? All I remember is waking up in the old car. A beautiful stained glass window had survived the attack so many years ago. The wind chime looked like it was made from old cans. The garden was now an overgrown wilderness. According to the sundial, it was mid afternoonish The fountain had dried up long ago. Eva looked ready to shoot anything that moved. Eva, I am glad your father is safe. He's old and foolish. He shouldn't be here, but he wouldn't listen to me. I suppose he's still going on about that painting. Well, yes. In fact, we decoded it. You did? Yes, we found a secret passage behind the fireplace. What? Your father and Georges went in. What? That's ridiculous. He's an old man. Don't worry. Georges knows what he's doing. So he always tells me anyway. Your father is looking very frail. He's old. And he could do without people giving him the runaround chasing lost treasure. Have you ever been inside the library? No, I'm told it is locked. The key is lost. Ramon says he hid it years ago and cannot remember where. Shame. Can you think of anywhere Ramon might have hidden the key? What do you think I am, psychic? Seen anything suspicious? Apart from you and your American boyfriend, no. He's not my boyfriend, you know. Whatever. Talk to you later. <laughs> the path led back where we came from. An old apple tree provided shade. Shame that the goat's rope wasn't long enough for him to enjoy it. Aren't goats cute? I do wonder why Georges has such an aversion to these noble creatures. Hello, little one. The goat had been tethered. Seemed unnecessary. The gentle animal wouldn't have harmed us all. A heap of old brandy bottles. Ramon must have been in the car on that night all those years ago. A pile of old apples. Looked like the goat had been eating lots of them. The old car must have sat there for decades. The dashboard seemed intact, but this old family car would never drive again. The inside of the car was in a bad state. An old pair of shoes. The floor of the car was littered with keys from sardine cans. I guess that's where he got all the cans for the wind chime from. Someone had been sleeping in the car. But long, long ago. Another brandy bottle? Ramon really went for it that evening. A 5D71. Extraordinary. Hi guys, Richie Bob here and welcome to Radio Yorkshire. Today we'll be talking to none other than George Stobart. Hi George, thanks for joining us today. It's a pleasure. Thanks for inviting me on. Why did you actually go to Paris all those years ago? 
I was getting over a breakup. I thought Paris would be a good place to recover. Peaceful, foreign, exotic, and with so many beautiful women. Who knew? If that explosion had never happened, what do you think he would be doing now? I'd probably be a lawyer, you know, making lots of money. Of course, doing work for the greater benefit of mankind. Beautiful wife, 2.3 beautiful children, a pet. Maybe a goat. Have you ever thought about changing your beautiful hairstyle? Actually, uh, I have already. Uh, a number of times. Five, in fact, I think. What is your definition of happiness? A puzzling, thrilling adventure with Nico at my side. Uh, and she's in a good mood, too, of course. An old and very dubious pillow. In amongst the mess was an old book. I picked up what looked like an old diary. It was Ramon's. The library will forever be a shrine. No one will enter. I shall hide the key in a safe place. Once I've eaten. I have just what I need and know what to do. Oh, beautiful lady, your eyes are so blue. I just can't stop thinking of you. Hmm, Ramon was quite the budding poet. Our lives are entwined like ivy on a tree. That is what you mean to me. Nice. Hey, I was reading that. Have you no respect for great art? Pretty indigestible, huh? I could just make out the cool, dark interior. Despite the scrap components, the wind chime was beautiful. It was uncanny. One old sardine can was bulging slightly. I fished around. There was something in it. There was something in that can. And there it was, the key to the library. Yes? Did you grow up here? No, we lived in France, just over the Pyrenees. When my father said he was coming here, he begged me to join him, to protect him. I can see now why he needed me. I found the old library key. Good for you. Talk to you later. I just had a look at that old car in the garden. Looks like someone slept in it. Me. When I returned, I couldn't bear the house at night. So, I slept in the car. Do you know Eva well? No, I only just met her. Senor Marquez brought her with him. They don't talk much, but she knows how to handle a gun. I found your key. I thought it was lost forever. Do you want to be with me when I open the door? No. Some things are better left in the past. And anyway, I must look out for Eva. Thank mm -hmm. you.
The internal courtyard had been beautiful once. Even overgrown like this, it had a serenity. An intricate mosaic adorned the floor. The plants at least were thriving in the rubble. It was the library door. The door was locked. I had the key to the old library. Ramon had been true to his word. This place was like a shrine. A globe sat forgotten in a corner. I wondered if Marquez had played with it as a child. An empty frame rested against the wall. When they left, Gennad's soldiers probably took everything of value. The table had been cleared. An old sturdy table. The old armor was in pride of place. Gennan clearly hadn't moved it. The tapestry had been flung to one side. Ramon was right. The window was barred. I wondered why Xavier Marquez had tried to escape through the library. Books were still stacked neatly in the bookcase. More were scattered on the floor. The huge trunk in the corner looked interesting. The trunk contained someone's personal possessions, at a guess, Genans. I wondered what secrets they might hold. The hat looked battered and old. I wondered if it had belonged to the mysterious Genan. A pair of well-worn boots. A couple of old faded shirts, neatly folded. There was an old map at the top of the trunk. The map had interesting markings and scribbles all over it. Georges would be so jealous. So, what is this place, senor? It is my family's chapel. It's not like any chapel I ever saw. Where's the altar, the crucifix, the Christian symbols? And this fresco, what's that? How extraordinary. It tells a story. It depicts the journey of my ancestors, the Cathars, and their escape from the hilltop fortress of Montsegur with the Tabula Veritatis from under the very noses of the soldiers of the Albigensian Crusade. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Who are the Cathars? And, and what have they got to do with the tabula? The Cathars were Gnostics. They lived in the south of France in the 12th century, at peace with the Jews and the Catholics of the Languedoc. They preach that men and women are equal, that God is within you, and that the Church is an obstacle to salvation. The Pope found their core beliefs abhorrent. The Cathars accused him and his Church of corruption. He condemned them as heretics. When the Pope learned that they were the guardians of the Tabula Veritatis, he conspired with the King of France and called for a holy war to wipe them out. The Albigensian Crusade was a callous, ruthless massacre. The final confrontation took place here, at Montsegur in 1244. The Crusaders believed that they had slaughtered all the heretics, but a handful managed to escape with the tabula. They traveled south across the Pyrenees along secret trails. They brought the tabula here to Catalonia to be hidden once more.
Sadly, it was not the end of their trials. The Spanish Inquisition saw to that. Nevertheless, for generations, my ancestors continued to guard the secret of the tabula. So, you understand why La Maledizio is important to me. It will lead us to the tabula again, so we can keep it safe from those who wish to abuse its power. The painting brought us up here, Senor. We need to find out why. The dark staircase led down to the great hall. I decided not to leave quite yet. I was sure there was more to discover up here. It was a candelabrum holding a single candle. Just what this place needed. Bit of mood lighting. If only I had a few scatter cushions. It was a large marble statue of an old man with a beard. The statue held aloft a colored glass lens. These statues... What of them? They're just like the figures in the painting and on the fireplace. Indeed, they are the two pillars of the Gnostic faith in harmony. And the bearded one is Yahweh, Jehovah, God of the physical world. The other is known by many names, Helel, Ishtar. He is the bearer of light, Luxfere, Lucifer. Lucifer? So, you guys are devil worshippers? No. When he is in balance with Jehovah, Lucifer is the god of desire and ambition, driving humans to be inquisitive, to discover, to advance. Just as Jehovah, when he is in balance with Lucifer, is the god of order. Jehovah stands for selflessness and altruism, Gnostics worship the harmony of both gods in balance. But what if one were to rule without the other? If Jehovah ruled without Lucifer, then individuality would be surrendered. Mankind would be wholly conformist, mindlessly dependent. Mere pawns of a controlling power. And what if Lucifer ruled without Jehovah? Ambition and desire would be transformed into unbridled greed, and man would lust only for wealth and power. Society would descend into chaos, disorder and war would prevail. Then, Lucifer would be the devil indeed. Marquez had told me that this statue was of Jehovah. Marquez had told me that this was a statue of Lucifer. The window illuminated the glass in the statue's hand. It was a glass wheel divided into six colors, and it looked like it could be rotated. Part of the lens was covered. It was a glass wheel, just like the one held by the other statue. Part of the lens was covered. Marquez had had a spring in his step ever since we discovered the secret chapel. Senor Marquez? Yes? Why was this room so well hidden? After Monsegur, my ancestors were very careful about announcing their presence. Even I, as a boy, knew nothing of this place. Maybe the fresco is important. Perhaps it denotes a dark time in our history. But wait, there is something strange. Go on. Each of the escaping Cathars is carrying a tabula. 
But you said there's only one tabula. That is right. So, why would they paint this lie? Maybe to hide the real destination? Of course, and only a Gnostic would know the right one. So, Jehovah, he's God, isn't he? He is the central figure in Abrahamic religions, but he represents just one aspect of our Gnostic beliefs, the physical world. So this statue is Satan? Not Satan, Lucifer. Okay, so not evil? The church demonized Lucifer to suit their own ends. He represents the spiritual and intellectual elements of the world. Good and evil are simply products of the human condition. You talk about balance. What does that mean? Harmony comes from the balance of Jehovah who offers order and Lucifer who brings ambition. Only under their dual influence will man become enlightened. See the light. So you say the Cathars are Gnostics? The Cathars were a medieval religious movement based on Gnosticism. Nowadays, we simply call ourselves Gnostics. So, the tabula is the key to the power of God? Yes, it is an object of tremendous power. Wow, this Alba Jensen crusade sure must have been a bloody affair. Few were spared. But it was only one episode in two millennia of persecution. What's the deal with these lenses that the statues are carrying? Clearly, they change the color of light that is reflected onto the fresco. But why? And why the different colors? Does all that colored light falling on the fresco mean anything? I don't know, senor. That is why I need you to help me. Here's Trevor again. Enough. You must stay focused. Part of the lens was covered. A small leather cap covered part of the device. I removed the small leather cover to reveal a crude crystal lens. Colored light streamed through and shone onto the fresco. Colored light from the rotating glass wheel was refracted by the lens onto the fresco. It was an ornate glass disc divided into six colored segments. The color changed from yellow to green. The color changed from yellow to green. The color changed from green to turquoise. The color changed from turquoise to blue. The fresco deserved a proper examination. The fresco was surrounded by dusty inscriptions. My Latin was a little rusty, but I could still translate. Ex igne puritas, from fire, purity. Ex luce veritas, from light, truth. Ex Labore Sapientia, from Struggle, Knowledge. A town of northern Catalonia. Cathars fleeing across the Pyrenees to escape the slaughter of the Albigensian Crusade. They seem to be carrying something. Cathars being burned at the stake. Knights of the Albigensian Crusade. The mountain fortress of Montsegur burning after its capture by the Crusaders. Senor?
Yes. So this chapel is as new to you as it is to me? Indeed. I never knew it was here. So are there any other secrets within the fresco? The root of the tabula veritatis. That is a big enough secret, is it not? So let me get this straight. The Gnostic Jehovah isn't the all-knowing God of Christianity? That's right. But more a God of physical stuff, the things around us? Correct. Well, why do we say that Lucifer is evil? Because the Church made him so. So the tabula is the key to the power of God? Yes. It is an object of tremendous power. Amazing! The light is showing the path, the path of the Bonzon. The what? The sacred trail my ancestors took across the Pyrenees, carrying the Tabula Veritatis, from Mont Segur, across the mountains, to this town. And which town is that? I don't know. That I cannot answer. But its coat of arms is quite distinctive. But how does it bring us closer to the Tabula? It tells us the route the Tabula took 800 years ago. I think that's all we're going to find up here. You're right. We should return to the hall. Eva will be getting worried. Okay, we found the route of the Bonzom Trail. How does it help us? It must somehow relate to the painting. <coughs> Papa, are you crazy? What are you doing? I'm fine. Don't fuss. You got me out here to look after you, so let me do it. Ramon is outside keeping watch. Georges, I'm glad you're safe. What did you find? There's a secret chapel above the fireplace. But it's not your average everyday chapel. It's a Gnostic chapel. All laid out for worshipping not one god, but two. What? I'll tell you when we have more time. You know, I found some things too, which might connect with all that. Come to the library. Oh, uh, could you bring the painting? I think we're going to need it. Marquez looked exhausted. Eva said she didn't get along with her father, but she sure looked worried about him. Are you all right, Senor Marquez? I am fine. Just winded, that's all. Any idea what Nico might have found? Parts of this house have been sealed off for a long time. You go. I will stay here. You really had no idea that the Gnostic Chapel was behind the fireplace, did you? No, but the house is full of secrets. Can you tell me any more about this trail of the Bonzon? It was the secret route taken by my ancestors across the Pyrenees. The route that brought the tabula to Catalonia. Eva? Yes? Let me know if there's anything I can do to help your father. I will. Thanks. The Great barred the way back up to the chapel. I had no reason to return to the chapel. The fireplace had concealed the entrance to a chapel. The fireplace controlled the passageway up to a secret chapel. 
The painting was a map to the hiding place of the Tabula Veritatis. What are you doing with La Maledizio? Nico found something and asked me to bring the painting. I promised to take care of it. The coat of arms was exactly the same as the one depicted on the fresco. It read Berga. Eva, go with him. Make sure the painting comes to no harm. I should stay with you, Papa. Don't worry about me. La Maledicio is more important. Have you brought the painting? Sure, why do you want it? Because I found out what Ganon was up to. The Ganon who tried to buy the painting from Madovsky? No, Ganon who led the fascists here during the Civil War. Ganon who then spent months here searching for something. And who vanished one day, leaving that trunk full of goodies over there. You think he's connected to the Ganon who wrote the letter to Madovsky? It seems likely that they were related. Hmm, maybe. So, what's the plan you've uncovered? Take a look at this. It's Ganon's map. He was searching for something. Searching for what exactly? The Tabula Veritatis, I guess. You think he found it? I doubt it. If he had, then people wouldn't still be chasing after the painting. So why did you want me to bring it? See this scribble in the sea? It's the same shape as the circles around the Ouroboros. Yes. Genan thought that pattern in the painting had something to do with a map of Catalonia. So, I guess we try to finish what Genan started. I'd put money on those circles around the Ouroboros being places in Catalonia. But which places? Maybe the painting can give us some more clues. Eva was still suspicious of us, but I was glad she was around. Eva. Yes? Do you have any idea what we should be looking for? What do I know? You're the ones who think there are secrets hidden here. This map is confusing. Maybe Ganon had already decoded it. The coat of arms I saw in the fresco was for a town called Burga. I know of it. You should mark it on the map. So what do you think about La Maledicio? My father thinks it's going to lead him to some ancient Gnostic secret. Me? I still think that it's all superstitious nonsense. Nico looked as cool as anything. Hey, Nico. Yes, George? Any ideas on what Ganon was trying to do with this map? Find the Tabula Veritatis, I guess. It was a dusty old globe. It was an empty frame. The painting had almost certainly been looted by Ganon's men. The suit of armor appeared to be standing guard. A moth-eaten tapestry hung on the wall. The window looked out onto a small courtyard. It had a grill of solid iron bars. The books were covered in cobwebs. They hadn't been touched for a long time. A large trunk sat in the corner. A pair of worn-out boots lay in the bottom of the trunk. I had no desire to take the old boots. A small piece of oilcloth was folded neatly inside the trunk. I removed the oilcloth from the chest. The blanket was made from rough old military wool. I picked up the blanket. There was nothing underneath it. It was a well-worn hat. I lifted the hat out of the chest. There was a folded shirt. 
there was something tucked beneath the shirt. There was a small folded piece of paper in the chest. I picked up the folded note. It was a telegram. There was a folded shirt. There was nothing underneath the other shirt. I deciphered the telegram. The tabula veritatis was smuggled out of Montsegur to Catalonia by a group of Cathar survivors. I have confirmed this from confessions extracted by the Dominican Inquisitor Emric of Girona. It was signed Wolfram. I put everything back in the chest. Eva. Yes? Any ideas? No. Any more ideas about the locations? There must be clues somewhere. What else do we know? There have to be more clues somewhere. But where? The telegram in the trunk mentioned Montsegur and Girona. Well, Montsegur was near where I grew up in France. It was some kind of Cathar castle. It was one of the locations on the fresco, too. Girona, it has to be important. Mark what we know on the map. Maybe we can spot a pattern. Nico. Georges? The telegram indicated that there was an inquisitor called Emmerich from the city of Girona. It sounds like they were terrible times. A sturdy old table stood in the center of the room. It was Ganon's map. He had been looking for something. The map had to be the key. The French castle Montsegur. I saw this location highlighted on the fresco. This was one of the locations highlighted on the fresco. And this was the starting point of the journey of the Bonon. The good man. The Cathars, right? Berga was one of the locations highlighted on the fresco. Then it's probably a clue. Berga must be important. So, the coat of arms on the fresco pointed us towards Berga. Then it must be important. Two locations down. If the vignettes on the painting were anything to go by, I needed to find two more. Girona. The location had to be important. The Inquisitor Emric had come from there. The Dominican monk Emric was from Girona. The dog-headed priest on the painting. I'd found three locations. 
Now I had to track down the last one. The village of San Ramon. San Ramon. Ramon told me he was named after a, a Saint Ramon. There's also a saint on the painting. Let me guess, he has a hefty padlock through his lips? The village of San Ramon. I could see a pattern emerging. The locations had formed an odd cross shape, similar to the layout of the orbs depicted on the painting. This is the center point of the cross, so the tabula must be here. 